back in 2007, we had this idea of uh, taking the catalytic converter and turning it into a, a nanoparticles and uh, putting that material into diesel fuel to then go into a combustion chamber and reduce the amount of soot that's produced and improve the fuel economy and help lubricity. And to do that, we needed to make uh, some very small particles to increase reactivity, two nanometers or so. Cornell isn't just a university. It's maybe one of only six universities on the planet that has the experimental um, equipment to look at a particle with 180 atoms in it and actually tell you what's in each, in each plane. And then the people here are so easy to work with. And uh, it, it's just been a great experience. It really has been. Get connected to a university. Get connected to a university as soon as you can and uh, tap into their expertise. The work that went on here at uh, Cornell actually gave us the insight as to what we were doing and provided us uh, leverage with the EPA to, to get through the process much quicker. So it, it was very satisfying to, to, to uh, not only understand what we were doing at, a, at an atomic level, but then to be able to marry that experiment, uh, get, get our product through the business cycle, and then um, uh, uh, go on to build other products based on that knowledge. After uh, several years of working on this uh, combustion catalyst, we came to Cornell CCMR and worked on Project Jumpstart to understand what it was we had made, what its limitations were, how, what is it legally is standing because we had to go in front of the EPA and register this. And, uh, and we got those answers in, in record time and with evidence that we could you know, support our case. Jumpstart is, um, it, it provides a very critically needed, difficult expertise that's hard to find and expensive to find. Process is real easy, one sheet of paper. Uh, the Cornell students are extraordinarily quick, bright, and very eager to make things work, very responsive when I call them on the phone and find out what's going on. Hey, I need these graphs for a board meeting in, in a week or so, boom, they show up. Um, that's the experience I've had, which is, which is great. The intellectual property is not the most valuable property of a small business. It's the most valuable property of any business. It's the ideas that are, are so valuable. It's not the capital or anything like that. Uh, and with Cornell, uh, there was never any, any issue. At every step of the way, either in understanding or expediting the business development, the knowledge we got here at CCMR was critical. As I say, I, I really think uh, Universities are, are, are a gem, and Cornell's a gem.